So one idea to create this presentation was to remember the beauty of human life, how we can live it with the meaning and purpose. And second was of course a personal reason to create it. And the story goes long time ago when I was working in a hospital in London. A young boy, 27 years old, he presented to our clinic and uh, he had multiple issues. Uh, one of the issues that he had is that he developed a habit of uh, taking cocaine. And if somebody is taking cocaine for a long period of time, uh, especially if he is uh, snorting it, then one of the problems they develop is that they develop Lilliputian hallucination. The word comes from Lilliput. Gulliver in Lilliput, you may have heard this story. And they see the small people crawling all over the body. They are not there, just the imaginary people and he's seeing, he was seeing them. Uh, and then he also developed uh, diabetes because of taking steroids for long. So he was using the insulin syringe to dig these people out. 27 holes were there in the body like we saw him. Very dreadful condition, very bad condition. Took like three months to get him better and three months were horrendous because every single day he would fight with the medical staff because he wanted to uh, pull every single thing out. He did not want to do anything and like you know, very, very difficult time that we had. And one night uh, I think we were having a discussion and I spoke to him and I said, why are you so angry with yourself? And he said that I'm not angry with me, I'm angry with my father. And I asked why and he said that the reason I'm angry is that look for a normal person. He is always looking for a next podium to reach. He's, he's, uh, getting the education so that he can get a good degree, good degree to get a good job, good job so that he could have a decent house, decent livelihood, decent family. He said I was like 16, 18 years old when I got Ferraris in gift and helicopters in gift and had nothing to prove to himself. So no place to go up but only to go down. Life took a path of decline. So I said your father may not be responsible for it. It was not his intention to destroy your life. He did not want to annihilate it. He he wanted to help you, but unfortunately, you know, it has taken that, that path. Uh, but even if your life is bad, as you say it is, you need to think that whose responsibility it is. Are you going to live your life blaming your father for it? Are you going to take the responsibility for it? That's it. Did not see him again. Three years later, he wrote a letter from South Africa saying that that night when we had that discussion, it was really... Uh, it pinched my heart, he said. And, and he said, I went on a world tour. And he, you know, world tour, he ended up in a very small and remote part of India, a tribal part of India called Bastar. A number of people of our ashram are from that beautiful part of India called Bastar. So he went there and he saw a farmer there. And that farmer had barely anything to, like, you know, feed himself or very uh, a poor family, but had four children and they were very happy together enjoying their time. They were eating something insignificant but they even invited him to join. So he was surprised. He thought that how come like you know they they have got nothing and still they are so happy. So he asked him so asked his interpreter to ask this uh, farmer. He said how come he is so happy he has got nothing. And when farmer heard the question he laughed. He said who told him I have got nothing. He said tell him I have got family. And the moment this boy heard that thing, he said, I immediately took a flight back home to London, hugged my father on reaching there and we both cried like never before. He said, it took us four hours to say the first word. And then I said, first time I realized that life is not supposed to be pain, but it's supposed to be source of happiness. And then he asked a question, how do we make life a source of happiness? Answer to his question is here. We make the life source of happiness if there is a meaning and purpose behind it. If there is no meaning and no purpose, life becomes a burden. Every second of the life becomes dreadful. And if there is a meaning, if we are going for a destination, if we are working hard for it, if our life is filled with a purpose, if we are seeking the purpose, living the purpose, dreaming the purpose, breathing the purpose, then every second becomes an act of celebration.